In this example, chapter 4, section 1 to 3, example 1, we'll resolve a moment about a point. In this case, we have a bracket with a force imparted onto the bracket. So there's a 100 Newton force that is applied to this frame, and we want to find the moment of the force at point zero. We want to resolve the 100 Newton force along the x and y axes. Notice this is a two-dimensional shape or coplanar force. We'll determine the moment m sub naught using a scalar analysis in this case for the two force components to the 100 Newton vector and then we'll add those two moments together to find the total moment. So we'll break the 100 Newton force down into its y and x components and use the distances around those the point of the origin point O shown here. In this case, since it's a fairly simple drawing, the free body diagram is mostly provided by the drawing as it's shown in this instance. So our solution here is to define the x component of the force that's acting on the frame and the y component of the force that's acting on the frame. The y component is a function of the downward force, so it's a negative 100 Newton force, multiplied by three-fifths of that force that acts in the y direction or the j component and that force is going to be in newtons and then we define the f component of that 100 newton force since the we define by convention a positive value moving to the right the 100 newtons moves to the right or imparts a force to the right so it's a positive force and it's four-fifths the total force scalar for the x component. The moment then for the force pushing downward is going to be in the clockwise direction. If you recall we define a positive force in the counterclockwise direction. So the force acting in the y direction again will be clockwise, thus will be a negative force imparted so we have minus 100 times 3 fifths, which is the force, and it's acting at a distance of 5 meters. So we multiply the y component times the distance away from the origin, which is 5 meters in the x direction. And we add to that the component operating in the x direction. Since the x direction imparts a negative force, a negative torque about that point operating on the bracket, that's going to be a negative value, negative 100, and it's 4 fifths times the force, which is the x component, and it operates at a distance from the origin of 2 meters along the y direction. So we multiply by that. And when we add these two forces together, we get a force of minus 460 newton meters in the clockwise direction, thus the negative sign. Or we could write this as a positive number with the definition of the force being in the clockwise direction. And this is a simple two-dimensional analysis that shows the force imparted 
by a moment or torque around a point is going to be a function of the magnitude of the force and the distance over it operate over which it operates and we can do this in vector component form just like we've done other forces.